space to build two red lanes. So they only built one and they designed it so that it can be used as a reversible bus lane in the future sometime. How it basically works is um, in the morning peak when buses travel from Blauberg side towards Cape Town CBD, uh, the bus lane will be open for them until midday, 12 o'clock. Then at 12 o'clock, the bus lane will close for a cool-off period until 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock, the bus lane will open again for the afternoon peak buses coming from Cape Town towards Blauberg. That will be open then until midnight. We've got the two traffic signal controllers at the site. It's so designed that the lanes won't be able to open at the same time. And we use uh, thermal AI cameras on both entrances, one that count the bus going in and one count the bus leaving again. We've set it up with virtual loops, so there's the loops have um, a way to check the class as well, so we can check unauthorized vehicles are in the lane. The drivers have gone through training and as soon as they see the signs on closed, they won't enter the lane. So then they would have to either contact the control room and the control room would then check the CCTV along the bus lane. While this may be the first, this is certainly not the last of its kind. We will use this and the our lessons learned on this particular stretch of infrastructure and replicate it elsewhere where we sit and we have to look and make sure that whatever we do we try to give public transport the, the priority.